Welcome. This is Global News and English Listening Practice Series. Episode 98. English Pronunciation and Subtitles in Both Traditional Chinese and English. How art and literature can help us rethink our problems with sleep. Sleep troubles affect a significant portion of the population. Yet our understanding of sleep often focuses on individual solutions rather than cultural considerations. However, art and literature offer a fresh perspective on sleep, challenging prevailing narratives and highlighting its broader societal implications. Sleep inequalities are evident. From medical workers grappling with sleep deprivation to the homeless struggling to find rest. Simply viewing sleep as a personal responsibility overlooks its connection to social values and systemic issues. While sleep aids provide temporary relief, they fail to address the underlying problems. Art and literature provide alternative insights into sleep. Teresa Wong's memoir, Dear Scarlet, The Story of My Postpartum Depression, delves into the cultural norms and lack of support that contribute to sleep loss for new parents. Through powerful illustrations, Wong captures the despair and isolation caused by sleep deprivation, shedding light on gender dynamics, healthcare disparities, and social isolation. Fiction and poetry also explore the relationship between sleep loss and societal problems. David Cheriandi's novel Brother depicts how trauma and poverty disrupt sleep, challenging the notion of sleep as purely peaceful. Dion Brand's poetry reflects on the difficulty of sleeping amidst others' suffering, emphasizing the need for compassion and empathy. Recognizing sleep as a cultural phenomenon enables us to examine power dynamics. Art and literature provide a window into the values and systems shaping our perception of sleep. By interpreting these narratives, we can foster empathy and support for one another. In conclusion, art and literature offer a valuable perspective on sleep, urging us to reconsider it as a cultural issue. By embracing these stories, we can engage in meaningful discussions about the societal factors impacting our sleep. This allows us to cultivate empathy and compassion, fostering a healthier approach to sleep and overall well-being. Inflation in Europe. Which countries have the highest and lowest inflation rates? Inflation in Europe is showing signs of easing, Yet the picture remains complex. As of January 2024, Eurostat reports a notable decrease in inflation rates in 15 EU countries, contrasting with an increase in 11 others. This development marks a significant shift from the peak of 11.5% in October 2022, indicating a gradual stabilization in the cost of living across the continent. The EU's overall annual inflation rate has decreased to 3.1% in January from 3.4% in December, a stark contrast to the 10% observed a year prior. Similarly, the Eurozone's inflation rate has dipped to 2.8%, down from December's 2.9% and significantly lower than January 2023's 8.6%. This trend suggests that while prices continue to rise, they do so at a slower pace, offering some relief to consumers. Energy prices, a key inflation driver, have shown a decrease compared to last year, contributing to the overall easing of inflation. However, the inflation landscape varies significantly across the EU, with Romania recording the highest rate at 7.3%, followed by Estonia and Croatia. Conversely, Denmark and Italy boast the lowest rates at 0.9%. This variance underscores the diverse economic conditions within the EU, with major economies like Spain, France, and Germany experiencing different inflation levels. The UK's inflation rate stands at 4.2%, highlighting the broader economic challenges beyond the Eurozone. Looking ahead, Preliminary estimates from Eurostat suggest a continued decline in inflation for February in several countries, signaling a cautious optimism for economic recovery. The European Commission's forecast anticipates an acceleration in economic activity and consumer spending in 2024, 
buoyed by falling inflation and rising real wages. As Europe navigates these economic shifts, the focus remains on achieving a delicate balance between stimulating growth and maintaining price stability, ensuring a sustainable path towards recovery from recent economic upheavals. Scientists worried as Elon Musk SpaceX to burn 100 satellites in Earth's atmosphere. Elon Musk SpaceX has sparked concern with its plan to deorbit 100 Starlink satellites, causing them to burn up in Earth's atmosphere. This decision, aimed at addressing a design flaw, has raised environmental concerns, particularly regarding the potential impact on the ozone layer. The satellites, primarily made of aluminium, will release particles upon re-entry, which could contribute to ozone depletion. This issue is significant because the ozone layer protects the planet from harmful ultraviolet radiation. The scientific community has highlighted the difference between the natural meteoroid material that enters Earth's atmosphere daily and the artificial satellite debris. Meteoroids, mostly composed of rock, are less harmful compared to the aluminium from satellites. Research indicates that alumina, a byproduct of some rocket launches, can create temporary holes in the ozone layer, underscoring the potential risks of satellite burnup. SpaceX's action to remove these satellites within six months is part of a larger discussion on the environmental impact of space exploration. As the company aims to expand its satellite network to improve global internet coverage, the need for sustainable practices in space becomes increasingly crucial. This situation underscores the importance of balancing technological advancement with environmental stewardship, ensuring the long-term health of our planet's atmosphere. As the space industry continues to grow, it faces the challenge of minimizing its ecological footprint. The dialogue between innovation and environmental responsibility is essential for the future of space exploration and its impact on Earth. SpaceX's current initiative highlights the complexities of operating in space while being mindful of our planet's ecological balance. Daily Fiber Supplement Improves Older Adults' Brain Function in Just Three Months New Study A recent study highlights a significant breakthrough in geriatric health. Daily fiber supplements can notably enhance brain function in individuals over 65 within three months. This research underscores the gut microbiome's pivotal role in cognitive health, suggesting a cost-effective strategy to mitigate cognitive decline. The study focused on the effects of inulin and FOS, two plant-based fiber supplements, on cognitive and muscle functions. Conducted on 36 pairs of twins in a double-blind setup, it revealed that participants receiving the fiber supplement showed marked improvements in memory tests, crucial for detecting early Alzheimer's disease signs. Although no significant muscle strength differences were observed, the supplement intake led to a beneficial increase in gut bacteria like bifidobacterium, known for its positive impact on cognitive functions. This outcome not only reinforces the gut-brain connection's importance but also opens new avenues for dietary interventions in cognitive health maintenance for the elderly. The study's remote design further demonstrates the feasibility of conducting significant research without physical presence, broadening the scope for inclusive research practices. At an approximate cost of 15 p a day, these fiber supplements offer an accessible, safe method to potentially improve the quality of life for many. The research team is optimistic about exploring the long-term benefits and broader impacts on aging populations through further studies. This research marks a step forward in understanding the gut-brain axis and its implications for preventive health strategies aimed at preserving cognitive function in older adults. As the scientific community delves deeper into the gut microbiome's potential, these findings provide hope for aging individuals seeking to maintain their brain health and independence. Thank you for watching. If you find value in this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and turn on the notification bell. Have a wonderful day.